Hurricane Barrel is forecast to enter the Gulf of Mexico this Friday. While the track of the storm is still uncertain, we want our viewers to feel prepared regardless. We begin WXXV News 25 Brooke Parker live this evening with more on the state of evacuation routes this hurricane season. Brooke. As we all know, there are multiple projects happening across I-10, Highway 90, and even right here on Highway 49, the further up you get towards Hattiesburg, there's even construction going on there. And all of these are part of evacuation routes for both Mississippi and Louisiana. Some residents have expressed concerns about closures throughout the coast impacting an emergency evacuation, and MDOT is here to calm those fears. Typically, MDOT will open up any lane closures that are in place that can safely be opened up, and that way we can increase capacity for hurricane evacuations. Also, in a hurricane evacuation, we will halt any construction work or any maintenance projects, and we'll divert any MDOT crews from any sort of maintenance projects over to disaster response and readiness. During previous evacuations, the Gulf Coast has seen people evacuate to the east or the west, which is along the route of these construction zones. To avoid evacuation via these roads, MDOT has mapped out evacuation routes headed north. So we currently have about 20 evacuation routes mapped out through our hurricane evacuation guide and that's available at goemdot.com slash hurricanes. There's plenty of routes that would lead north um, into safety. So um, I think that people have plenty of routes to choose. It just depends on where you're going as far as your evacuation destination. Even without road closures, evacuations add a lot more people to the roads at one time causing congestion. Mississippi Highway Patrol will be there to help the flow of traffic. The biggest thing is patience. Um, the the worst thing you can do is try to rush when you're in, in a lot of traffic and, and not allow the flow to actually go. I mean, not, not allow other people in when they need to get in and, and blocking other people. The best thing to do is be patient and be courteous. Let them in, let the flow keep going, let the, let the traffic keep moving. Um, make sure you don't let the traffic overwhelm you. Trooper Roscoe also suggests leaving room between vehicles to limit accidents, avoid lane changes, rest, and plan ahead to avoid traffic. 